What's up guys, I'm Matt Reisinger. And I'm Stephanie Daly. And the build show is on the road. I'm visiting Stephanie down here in Utah. Stephanie, what are we doing on today's video? We got a really great window and door package from Pella. That's the reserve line. Okay. That, and we're installing one of the largest windows in that package today that has some pretty big structural moles. These windows do not look light. What, are, what kind of weight are we talking about, Stephanie? 600 pounds per unit. So oh the total window itself is about 1200 pounds. Today we're going to be talking to Stephanie and her crew about how to install these giant windows. I think you're going to get some great tips from this video. Today's video is sponsored by Pella. Let's get going. All right, Stephanie, let's start with prep. I suspect you guys did a lot before I got here to get ready for this. We did. These big windows, best thing to do when you start installing a window is check your opening. Make sure your opening matches the window that you need to install in yeah, it. Big time. Um, you know, sometimes we have window changes or things that were on the plan that are different on the window order. So step one there. And then next, what we've done is the plate that the structural mold goes into. This, we want to be flat. We want the bottom of that window to sit flat on the floor. Okay. And so the most important thing is this plate, if we just set it on top now, would be on top and the window would kind of drape over the edge. Okay. So we've routed out a channel for this plate to sit Smart. recessed and flat with the wall. Gotcha. Then the guys came through and put the zip stretch tape on to prep the bottom of that opening. Okay, so let me, let me back up one quick second. I think I know the answer to my question, but these windows I'm seeing behind us, they were factory mauled in a pair. And then ultimately with the big opening here, you're gonna maul those two pairs into one big four. So when you say 600 pounds, that's for that pair of windows I'm seeing behind. Correct. Okay, yeah, per it. window, we're about 300 got it. per piece. And, and everything that you've said prep wise makes sense to everybody. I do wanna point out, I think it's really wise for you guys to put the stretch tape and make a seal pan, even though you've got a giant uh, porch right above mm -hmm. us here. It looks like a 12 foot deep porch. Yep. Really smart to do that, whether you need it or not. Uh, that's really wise. Yeah. Now, talk to me about the next step in prep before this window actually goes in. Yeah, so we've got, got our channel routed out. We're taped up here. The guys have measured everything. We're good to go. So they're going to go through and start putting the silicone on the opening. We want okay. to make sure that this is watertight. Like you said, we're covered. We have a covered patio outside of the space here, yeah. but 10, 20 years down the road, if someone remodels, we want to make sure this house is completely watertight. Yeah, so that makes sense. Guys have gone through, they're putting silicone on the opening and then they're gonna bring in the first piece and set that, and make okay. sure that is right and in the right spot before we get them together. So I just realized though, uh, how come we've got a, it looks like a bottom plate down okay. and then your stretch tape, you're not sitting it right on this Advantech uh, X Factor? Yeah, that's an interesting detail because this room we're in right now turns into a basketball court, pickleball court gym. Whoa. So the floor we're using is a traditional sprung basketball court floor. Oh my gosh. Yep. It's a, it's a lot more than just your nail down hardwood. So we've got three eighths of rubber. We've got horizontally stacked sheets of half inch and then our nail down hardwood on top of that. So, so in other words, that nail down hardwood doesn't make it all the way down to your Advantech and that floor has some spring. And is that like a maple floor like it you is. see in gyms? Yep. True. Clear maple. And then I guess that is going to ultimately flush up with where you are here too, huh? Exactly. Oh man, you guys are, that looks heavy. <laughs> <laughs> that, it's, a, it's an incredibly heavy unit. Yeah, so, that is a real heavy unit. It's always scary when you start moving those big pieces of glass. And there's a big structural mole I can see from the factory on there already. Yeah, so the same mole piece that we're installing to center these two windows together, that's already happened between these pieces here. Pella did that in the factory. So when they ship these windows, they'll ship them in sizes that they can fit on a truck, sizes they can bundle and package yeah, safely. Sense. So um, Plus you don't want to handle a 1200 pound window out on the job site. Exactly. <laughs> if you can yeah. avoid it at and all costs. You don't costs. want to have to lift that thing I bet in, you guys so. have done that before at some point in your career, but. <laughs> exactly. Another and, key thing you'll notice here that as far as prep goes when the guys are setting, they pulled the plastic off that window before setting the suction cups on, just extra uh, precaution. Right, right. Because if you had that suction cup on top of the uh, film, it could actually pop off and you'd have an accident on the job. Yeah, it's always better to be, be safe. Make sure that you've got that suction cup directly to the glass so yeah. that you're really picking that up. I noticed you're up. using the Woods Power Grip. I love those too. Those <laughs> things are awesome, aren't they? They're great. That's like the gold standard of suction cups right? in the building industry. Yep. Those are awesome. Let's let the guys get this next unit in and we'll catch up with you in a minute. Perfect.
right, Stephanie, talk me through what's going on in this structural mole. This is a small sample that I got from you guys. So what's happening with this mole? So you got the plate here. Mm -hmm. You can see the guys came through and just loaded this up with silicone, make sure okay. that we're really nice watertight. They will get the bottom plate put in there just like that. Okay, yep. so this plate just fits right on the top of this. Yep, it does. So we have the aluminum that they're using for the mole, mm -hmm. silicone. They got everything screwed in. We're ready to place that up and then we'll test fit this next section, get the other side of it siliconed and get it in. Gotcha. I'm not an engineer, but I play one on TV. I'm assuming <laughs> this probably helps with wind load. Yeah. So as the wind's blowing up and pushing against these windows, this is keeping those windows nice and stiff. I yeah. assume. When you get a big opening, a big sheet of glass like that, especially something that's not uh, framed out by a thick jam with a door yeah. or something, it's just, it needs that extra yeah. strength to make sure that it doesn't move. So yeah. this is Pella's solution. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so then once that mole's in place, I'm assuming we're ready to grab the other uh, 600 pound unit too. Shockingly, this is going, I mean, it's obviously a testament to your crew's prep. This is going in really quickly and easily. Yeah, I can tell you one of the other things that is really unique about us installing these is the guys you're watching install it are our team of Finnish carpenters. How about that? So, so this is Finnish carpenters <laughs> installing these doors or these uh, windows in this case. You know, the benefit to that is they're the ones that are going to come through and do the trim on every uh -huh. job down the road. So if we've got Finnish carpenters installing the windows. We know they're right on. Yeah, what do you do? Uh, we need to get you if you haven't already to do a whole video about your Finnish carpentry team and why you guys decided to uh, have your own team of finished carpenters. And I suspect you probably do. also sub some carpentry out, but you've got your people. That's such a great tip. Yep. If you guys don't know already, by the way, Stephanie's shooting videos over on thebuildshow.com. Mm -hmm. She joined the Build Show Network this past fall. We're mm -hmm. super excited to have her. And while we're in this quick interruption here, uh, for those of you watching this in the beginning of 2024, Stephanie and I are going out to the International Builder Show in Las Vegas because... Pella is launching a brand new innovation and we're really excited to see what that looks like. We can't tell you what it is, but we can tell you that you're going to be like, what? How has no one thought of this before? Something that Steph and I had to sign an NDA to be able to look at. And it's really, really cool. They've been working on this in a while. And at IBS, Steph and I are going to be unveiling that. So if you're going to the International Builder Show, make sure you come to the Pella booth. Look for the uh, times when Steph and I will be at the booth. It's going to be really, really cool. That being said, it looks like this mall is almost ready. Let's get the second window going in. looks to me like you guys kept the two by four that probably was a shipping two by four on the bottom. Is that, I'm assuming that's just to protect that outside flange. It is. Yep. Got get it. it outside. You can see right now the guys are starting to unscrew it and they'll get that off and then Got get it. it set in. I haven't seen this nail flange before on this. It's a nice thick kind of aluminum flange. I like that. It is. Yeah. And, and are you guys uh, using just some roofing nails to install this? What are you doing? We're not. So we choose to use screws ah. and uh, a couple reasons. One, it's just a little bit of a tighter set, but two, you know, if we ever need to adjust something, if we get that window in and we need to kind of tweak the plumb yeah. a little bit, we can, we can wrap these out and put them back in. So. Oh, oh yeah, they got it. Nice work, boys. <laughs> Holy cow. Instantly warmer. It really is. Holy cow. Once that wind stops. Stephanie, you guys make it look easy. I'm impressed. It's a big window. These guys are really skilled, so they've I'd, done it a few times. I'd say so. So it looks like a couple of screws on those structural brackets, top and bottom, all the screws in the nail flange, all the typical uh, Huber zip system, weatherization yep. on the outside. Uh, and then what's your typical plan for air sealing inside? What do you guys like to do? 
Uh, it depends on the client, really. We give them a lot of different options. Um, this one, we're not entirely sure yet. We've left them a few options on the table for different types of insulation okay. or say an air barrier. Uh, but ultimately it's their decision and gotcha. then we just adapt and move forward from there. <laughs> impressive work guys, really impressive work. Big thanks to Pella for sponsoring today. Some gorgeous windows in this project. And I think we've got some great tips from you and the crew, Stephanie, on big window installs, guys. Come see us at the International Builder Show. We'll put a link to all the Pella products we talked about in the description below. In the meantime, go follow Stephanie on Instagram and go check out her videos over on thebuildshow.com. Stephanie, you've seen me close out a video before. Will you, will you help me? I think I can do that. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.